Uh, you got challenges that you're going to run across. Speaking, did you did you start? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, and I think it's like you said. It was like it was the second year at Isogenics. They did they put me on stage for their celebration event, mm -hmm. and there was like fifteen thousand people there, and I had this fifteen minute part. And Tony, they sent me the video after the presentation. I was watching and I was like, dang, you know, I'm talking in front of 15,000 people. And I'm like, this isn't bad, you know. And I thought, okay, it's time to launch this speaking career that I wanted. But I needed to find a mentor. And coincidentally, a buddy of mine here introduced me to Dr. Will Moreland, who is a big time motivational speaker, author here in Phoenix. And I met him. And I said, okay, I want to write a book. I want to become a professional speaker. Will you be my mentor? And I hired him. And and I guess you say the rest is history. History. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Real good brother, too. He's um, yeah, he might be somebody you might want to interview. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, very, I'm a, very I'm a, well respected. I'm gonna look him up. I'm yeah. definitely to Will Moreland. Okay. So have you been out the country speaking or only in the US? I've um I did um uh UK okay um but I do most of it in the in United US. States and I've okay. I've narrowed it down to Tony I'm doing more corporate now okay uh, when you first start out start out you kind of do a little bit of everything but I'm doing more corporate because I find speaking to business professionals it's very similar to being a professional athlete there's so many variables or there's so many um, similarities. Mm -hmm. characteristics wise, as far as what it takes to be successful. And I find out the business community, they want to know what it's like to perform at the highest level. They want to know what it's like to be the best of the best and, and overcoming those obstacles. And so, um, you know, that's, that's been my story and it's a privilege to be able to share with them what that takes and what you got to do and then how you maintain success. Cause you know, success is not a continuum. You got to continue to work at it. So have you shared the stage with any other guys that, you know, like maybe it's, you know, five panel? I actually, um, it's funny you asked me that. I actually did my first panel last week at um, Isogenics's celebration event. In Orlando. I've never, yeah, I've never done a panel. That was my first time doing it. And we spoke on the why, the importance okay. of knowing the why. But um, usually I'm on my own, but that was a nice change of pace, you know, to listen to other professionals who are succeeding and just kind of sharing with the audience our viewpoint of, you know, how important understanding your why is and what you're doing. Did you meet Mr. David Moses? Have you met him? Yes. Yes, yeah. I did. Yeah. yeah. That's my guy. You know, I used to be a part of Zija and David was the uh, master distributor. Really? Yeah. So when Isogenics bought, you know, Zija. Uh, do you use the, the, the XM products they have there? I mean, yeah, the you, XM, man. Yeah. Every morning. yeah, everybody loves that product. Okay. <laughs> yeah, those guys have really, um, I guess you could say they shot kind of a, kind of gave Isogenics a, a boost of new mm -hmm. energy. Chris, been, to, yeah. It's been good. Yeah. I was at Zija when Chris came on board, and Chris is, uh, he's a prime example of what, you would look at for network marketing means meaning that he came in that was his first company mm -hmm. and he hit millionaire status and been millionaire status ever since you know what i'm saying chris came in looking to make you know an extra hundred dollars a week yeah and now he's making an extra million dollars yeah. <laughs> so yeah. yeah i remember i remember that clearly uh all right so motivational speaking anything else what else are you doing I right suggest now. enough. I suggest enough. motivational speaking. Um, but what about Raina? Is she does she do isogenics or does she come around travel with you? Yeah, she's um with me in isogenics behind the scenes. Raina's okay. like, I'm not don't put me in front okay. of anything. I'm behind <laughs> yeah. the scenes. So yeah. she does everything behind okay. so I can be out, you know. Right, um, right. She travels with me when I speak, which is great because she does all the all the logistics and stuff, which makes mm -hmm. it easier for myself. But, um, and um, yeah, and she actually still works. My wife, once the kids were oh, wow. out, she loves to work. work. She's a medical coder 
from home. She does medical billing and coding and she okay. loves it, you know? And, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I think it's cool. kind of one of those things where like you've been raising and taking kids for so long. I want to do I'm something myself of, now. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. That's yeah. cool, man. So um, what would you tell a, a, a kid now in high school that's, that's, you know, want to be in the NFL and we know the numbers. We've already yeah. said that. Um, what would you say to that guy? Make sure that you like and subscribe and, and hit the all button and all that kind of stuff because we're going to have a lot of good interviews uh, on this podcast.